Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you some of my favorite spots in Perugia because we haven't done a proper Perugia video yet, which is crazy because I live here and this is one of them. One of the very many beautiful lookouts that there is here. Before I came here, I didn't realize that it was so high up. In fact, I didn't know anything about Perugia at all. And so I got a bit of a shock that it's just so pretty here. This bit is really cool because it's like being on the end of the Titanic. <laughs> I'm like Rose. Right, we're going to my favorite cafe that I come to every single day. So let's go. They're going to be like, why is she filming today? So. <laughs> One of my favourite words in Italian is bombolone. <laughs> I just love it. It's such a cool word. Right, so this is the one, yeah? If you come to Perugia, you've got to go to this cafe because it is my favourite one and in my opinion, they do the best cup coffee and I have it every single day and they know me now. They're like, Maxi Cappuccino! <laughs> it's really nice. Anyway, I'm on my little morning routine, off to see the mountains and the clouds. So this is the main street in Perugia and usually when there's no restrictions and stuff, all of this is just cafes and bars and outside uh, restaurants. But because all of the cafes and the bars can only do takeaway at the moment, it's just really empty. Over here, that's a big fountain and whenever I meet anyone I say I'll meet you at the fountain because <laughs> it's the only place that I really know how to say so uh, this is it the main fountain you've probably seen or heard of this chocolate and it's the most famous chocolate in Italy and it was made here in Perugia and it is amazing, actually. Over there's the fountain. And down here is these oldie woldy streets, cobbly streets that feel like they've not been touched for thousands of years. And these big arches. And I don't really know what all the arches and the buildings mean, but they're cool. So before I came to Italy, I Instagrammed Perugia and this is what I saw and I was like oh my god I hope that I can see that I hope that you know it's near where I live it turns out it's literally just behind my house so it's so cool I love it it's so pretty perfect little Instagrammable street okay well seems that I've come to this the shop to get a tattoo. Oh, is anyone there? Yes, someone is there. The address, the born, and like the signature, signature. Yeah, signature. Hi. Someone just said to me, "You're so white." Yes, because I've got no tattoos. Are you excited about giving me my first tattoo? Yeah, it's a. Uh, also for me it's my first tattoo <laughs> yeah so we can do this experience together it's your, fir it's your first tattoo for you me your first tattoo yeah yeah <laughs> just woke up the other day and i was like i know hello i'll go and get a tattoo oh my god is it gonna hurt no no it will be too fast so, so I did it. I just got my first ever tattoo, like very impulsively. <laughs> uh, 
it just felt like it and uh had to go with it go with the moment and yeah it was very painful i don't know how people get those big big tattoos no the little one that i got was just big enough for me um and yeah it was really fun so there you go it'll be my little thing that i did during a global pandemic in italy and hardly anyone will ever see it it'll be my little mysterious little thing i have a thing about egypt Someone once told me that I was like an Egyptian princess in a past life. And to be honest, it makes perfect sense. Oh, here we go. Love this little walk. Wow, look at the clouds. We're in the clouds. It's so different every day. The clouds here are different every single day. It's really, 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 really nice on a sunny day when it's like super duper clear. But I come here every single morning on my way to work and I give myself at least half an hour to like sit here and manifest things and dream about everything that I want and think about the people that I love. It's my little happy place. And the thing that I love about this little particular spot is that no one ever comes here i have it to myself and it's so quiet and peaceful and beautiful and it's perfect it's like my little meditation spot really Non posso parlare con te adesso perché sono molto occupata. Ciao. <laughs> There's no one there. I'm just um, practicing. I think that my two eyes, one is slightly greener than the other one. And I'd packed some old beliefs, no longer serving me, and stuck right there in my back pocket. And it was like an eight week silent retreat, locked down just me and me. I couldn't speak the language, and I was trying to understand myself. You know my favourite new jumper, my one that says ciao on it that I really like? Well, I still really like it, but it's, it's shrunk. I shrunk it. It's half the size. So, look, I'm just going to try it on. Give me a minute. So, it's fine. I think it's fine if it's a crop jumper, right? You know, that's fine. People wear these. <laughs> Shit! Ooh! Don't know how I managed to get. And I'm just working from here. My little setup. I can't get much stronger. Man, I've been waiting all night, yeah. That's how long I've been on ya. Stop. 